Our Democratic debate coverage continues this half hour from the Motor City. And today we're hearing from a Democratic state rep on what she thinks of last night's debate and what we can expect tonight. 13 on your side's Nick Lefebvre is live in Detroit with more. Thank you very much. I'm here with State Representative Mari Manugi, and she represents the 40th District in Michigan out here on the east side of the state, Birmingham area, correct? Absolutely. Fantastic. Some of the questions I want to ask you, you were in the debate hall last night. You're going to be there tonight. What struck you? What were the breakout moments? Who impressed you last night? So I was really impressed by Senators Warren and Sanders. I thought they held their own. They were able to defend their points really well. Um, but I also really thought Mayor Pete Buttigieg um, out of South Bend was a really, really strong contender. Um, and he was asked a question about his age, which is a question that I get all the time as the youngest woman serving in the Michigan House. Um, and I thought he answered it beautifully. Um, really eloquently talked about the issues that matter to him and that you know age shouldn't necessarily be a factor. It's about whether or not you have the experience and you have the leadership skills um, and the things that the American people are really looking for. So I was really impressed by those three. They are talking about a lot of things that the Republicans are ready to take aim at. Laura Cox, chair of the Republican Party here in Michigan, told me so yesterday. There was talk about decriminalizing illegal immigration. There was talk about universal health care, re replacing private health care. Do those topics hurt the Democratic Party moving forward, do you think, or is that what your party needs to be talking about? So I think our party can be talking about a whole host of issues. The issues that folks in my district, for example, care about, obviously, are lowering the cost of health insurance, in particular prescription drugs, um, but also making sure that we are you know, fixing our roads and bridges and, in, and investing in our infrastructure, uh, making sure that we are uh, lifting up working families rather than you know, continuing to uh, levy taxes on them and not on the rich. And so we know that those are big issues that matter to all of us. And I think we can talk about a whole host of issues, including foreign policy, uh, making sure we have a strong homeland security as well. All of those are big issues that I think that Democrats have a winning message on. As long as we still have 20 candidates, 10 per night, going at each other, there's the risk of the circular firing squad. They might be damaging themselves before a general election campaign against the president. Sure. How big of that is a worry for it? Because Warren and Sanders went pretty hard at John Delaney last night. Sure. So they went pretty hard at John Delaney last night, who, uh, in my opinion, really uh, wasn't answering the questions fully and wasn't completely honest and truthful about some of those issues that everyone was talking about. But what I will say is what I thought was pretty impressive was that both Warren and Sanders uh, really stood together and were a strong front as a united front. Um, and multiple candidates, not just the two of them, said throughout the evening that they would be supportive of whoever the Democratic nominee is going forward. Um, and that They would do everything that they could to make sure that a Democrat wins the White House in 2020. Um, and so I'm confident that our party can really uh, unite together behind whoever the nominee is. I've talked to a number of independent voters, moderate Republicans who like the economy, but they are not impressed with President Trump as a person. And they've told me specifically that if the Democrats go too far to the left with their nominee, they will either vote for the president or they will stay home. Does your party risk going too far to the left with the general with the general nominee? That's a great question. So the way that I see it is all of those candidates up there are talking about issues that matter most to all of our voters, right? So the health care issue, uh, making sure that we have good paying jobs, so that one job should really be enough to support a family. Um, and of course, there's always the risk, whether you're Democrat or Republican, of going too far to the polar opposites and not necessarily making sure you capture a message that resonates with everyone. What I heard up there last night, though, was a message that I think resonates with so many people. Uh, it was a message that resonated with working folks across this country. Um, and I know from folks that I've talked to, whether it's in the labor movement or at kitchen tables in my district, that we need to get back to a message that centers on the working people of this country. And that's certainly what I heard up there last night. Right. Representative Mari Manugian, genuinely appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. Get in there, enjoy the second night of the debate. Thanks so much.